Dr. Dennis, how are you, sir? It is James Lowe. I have, uh, oh, my God, it's a busy day, but I'm glad you're there. <laughs> how are you, sir? Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. How are you? Uh, pretty good, actually. We have been uh, terribly, terribly busy today. We've had, uh, uh, it, it, it's like these guests think that it's a talk show and they can talk. Um, we've, <laughs> we've got, <laughs> yeah. that, uh, imagine that. <laughs> imagine that. We have got uh, Dr. Dennis uh, joining us. Dr. Dennis Durrell is with us today here in a broadcast, and uh, he joins us live here on our big program and uh we are gonna get everything connected here and get uh going on iheart radio and also amfm 247.com tune in itunes and of course uh radio loyalty talkshow.com as well and um I don't know where my co-host is. Maybe, maybe, maybe he's not using the Skype. I don't know. But uh, we have got uh, Dennis Durrell with us today. He joins us live here on our big program. He has written a fabulous, fabulous book. Uh, he's a uh, physician, practicing hospitalist, and author of Your Healthcare Playbook, Winning the Game of Modern Medicine. And he's with us today here on our big program. So will the reopening of the economic doors become a game uh, Dr. Dennis joins us today here on Skype Audio. So, Doctor, break this down for us. Uh, w w what do you make of all this? And since, since you're a uh, physician and author, and, and you know all the players involved here, my friend. Yeah. Well, it's really interesting. Um, you know, I consult with a company that makes tests for viruses, and they called me and interviewed me on February 11th. And they asked me about COVID-19. Actually, it wasn't named that at the time, but the coronavirus. And they asked me, should they develop a test? They have a point of care test, so you can get it done within 45 minutes. Yes. It's done right there. It doesn't have to go to a lab. And so the reason I'm making, you know, I'm bringing that point out, that was February 11th. And I advised them, you know, my opinion was, yeah, develop the test. I knew CDC had a test. That's the only one I knew at the time. And so I'm just kind of pointing out the timeline. And from then, uh, obviously, we've got this kind of mass cookie-cutter direction for our country where we're, we're, we're really doing one thing everywhere. And I, my take on this is that it'd be like having a storm, you know, hit the Northeast and, this, and the Pacific Northwest, and then everywhere in the United States we were somehow – closing schools just because the storm was hitting there. And so just like weather hits different areas, that's really what this virus is going to do. It's going to hit different parts of the country at different times. And I think we need to be smart about it. But I think one response for the entire U.S. is not the right way to go. We have got a great guest with us today. Dr. Dennis Durrell is with us. He's a physician. He's a coronavirus analyst. And uh, he is also the author of Your Healthcare Playbook, Winning the Game of Modern Medicine. And President Trump sparked speculation about his relationship with the country's top disease expert Sunday night after he retweeted a post that called for the doctor's job, which is classic Trump. Uh, Trump used statements uh, Dr. <laughs> Anthony Fauci made in February as evidence that a recent New York Times report that said he was slow to act on the coronavirus outbreak and called it "Quote unquote fake news." So, uh, so Dr. Dennis, um, th this Fauci character, I hear all sorts of things about him. I hear the fact that he's been involved in in, in medicine and the government forever. I've heard that uh, during the AIDS epidemic, he kind of botched that in the eighties. Uh, I've also heard uh, various stories about how he's kind of a bundler uh, so <laughs> what, what what do you make of this Fauci character you're, you're you're a medical expert yeah and you know I did extra training in infectious disease and during my residency and I did what was uh, the equivalent of one year of fellowship and at that time I was treating HIV patients and this would have been in the early 90s I mean, Tony Fauci, he's written really the Bible on HIV and also on vaccines. Um, he's kind of a guru in our field. And so I don't have anything bad to say about him as a physician, yeah. as a scientist. But, yeah, now I think when you start to get into predicting the geopolitical uh, and the socioeconomic 
impact and how you unwind that, I think that he's not in his right space. And he's going to, you know, I think he, he can, let me put it this way. I trust him for the science, but not necessarily on how to unwind this, you know, this situation in the U.S. We have got Dr. Dennis Durrell with us today. Uh, he is fantastic. And uh, so John has joined us back on Skype here. Uh, do, do you have any questions for the doctor there, John? Um, I was just trying to find him here on online. But um, what do you think is the most common transmission? Is it person to person? Is it airborne? I mean, everybody's had like 14 different ways that this is transmitted. What do you think is the most common or in your educated opinion? Yeah. Oh, I think it's definitely contact. It's person to person, you know, so it's, it's somebody getting, you know, virus on their hand, typically from someone or, uh, you know, from being around them, mostly household contacts and then touching their face and touching their nose and their eyes. And, you know, that's, that's the portal of entry. I mean, that's, that's the most common, uh, you know, it certainly is in the air, but it's a droplet. So it's not just it's not a tiny particle like measles, measles that are really airborne. It stays in the air for, you know, uh, really long periods of time. Um, it falls. This is a heavy particle, so it falls. And so, you know, there is some of that. But if you were near someone and you got a droplet on you and then you touched your face, that's, that's really the mode, the most common way to get it. Okay. We've got uh, Dr. Dennis yeah. Durrell with us today. He is fantastic. So tell us about your book, your healthcare playbook, Winning the Game of Modern Medicine. Tell us about the book. Yeah, well, I mean, my book is really pertinent in today because I have a section in my book about sticky hands. And I use, you know, in my book, I use the NFL as an analogy to explain healthcare. And I talk about Lester Hayes way, way back in the day, he was a football player that used stick him. And he used so much stickum on his hands that they actually outlawed it. And he would have it all <laughs> over his uniform. And wow. he got other players so mad because they were covered, and he was literally covered in stickum. Uh, and he was a defensive <laughs> back for the Oakland Raiders. So, awesome. uh, and I talk in my book about sticky hands, and that's really what we have here. I mean, we have a virus that is on people's hands. It's, it's, and, and they're not washing their hands. They're not cleansing their hands. And that's really – how a lot of it was uh, is getting spread. Dr. Dennis Durrell with us today. He joins us live here on our broadcast. And, uh, Doctor, I appreciate you uh, joining us today, chatting us up about this book and uh, talking to us about this uh, COVID-19 situation. Uh, I really enjoyed the conversation, my friend. Anytime. Happy to come back. Thank you, my friend. There he goes, Dr. Dennis Durrell. And, uh, we are going to take a timeout.